In what part? The cube. <laughs> okay. From the eighth, uh, eighth degree. Here's the thing about Royal Select Master's degree. Royal Select Master's degree is really t dealing with cubes, both the eighth degree and the ninth degree. In the eighth degree, the number eight itself is a cube. Two times two times two is eight, and that is a cube. Well, the Bible is open in the Royal Master degree, uh, second Kings, second chapter, second verse. And that verse is specifically talking about two prophets, Elijah and Elisha. And that corresponds to the two principles that in the second half of the Royal Master Degree, you find two principles because one has been slain. As a matter of fact, here's what's interesting about a Royal Master. A Royal Master is a combination between a fellow craft and a Royal Arch Mason. He's a Master Mason without the substitute word. Okay, understand that these seven were asked to create by uh, King Solomon to create the furniture that was going to go into the Holy of Holies. Hiram Abiff and six others. They created that furniture um, and placed it in the Holy of Holies. Uh, I'm on the video and I lost my point. Um, the, the whole point is, is, is that it is a cube, two times two times two being eight, okay, um, and the select master degree, there's also a cube, and that is the three times nine, the secret vault, because three times nine is the same thing as three times three times three, which is also a cube. Now, when you're dealing with cubes, you start going into sacred geom geometry, and you start dealing with uh, the duality of the world, as above, so below, right? So here's what's interesting about uh, these degrees and uh, Royal and Select Masters. Royal and Select Masters is the, it's called the Circle of Perfection. Um, and the reason why it's called that is because it completes the Hiramic legend, right? After the ninth degree in the York Rite, there are no other degrees talking about Hiram, right? Same thing on the Scottish Rite is after the 14th degree, there's no other degrees talking about Hiram and Biff. These degrees, Royal Master and Select Master, actually came and originated from the Scottish Rite. And they came over here to complete the York Rite for a reason. The York Rite at the time was seven degrees. And in order for the uh, esoteric uh, to flow, they needed to be 10 degrees. Why? Because of what you find in higher masonry, you find the Kabbalah, okay, the tree of life. So in the Scottish Rite, you have the 32 paths with the secret 33rd, which is the 10 sephiroth and the 22 paths that connect them. Well, you have that same emblem in the York Rite because you have nine degrees and then you have a 10th degree called super excellent master. Now the thing about the super excellent master degree is, is, is that it oftentimes people, uh, writers, uh, Mackey says this, a whole bunch of them will say, well, it's not really part of Royal Select Masters because it doesn't talk about Hyman, right? But it's part of the, the, the York Rite and it's part, it completes those first nine to that ten because of something that you need to understand. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a story in the allegory called The Path of the Sun. Okay? The Path of the Sun uh, is usually characterized by the sun being a widow or the sun being the son of God, right? So you have these stories throughout, uh, uh, throughout literature that was really the same story talking about the same thing. Let me give you an example uh, from pop culture. Superman. Superman, Cal L is the son of Cor L, right? And if you know anything about Superman, where does he get his power? From the suns, the light, right? Let me give you another one. Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter is considered a type of a widow's son. We have Hiram Abiff. We have Osiris, right? 
or Horus, which is the original widow's son. We've got all these stories. What this, this story means is it's the path of the sun and the journey of the, the path of the sun is the journey of the soul. Okay? So let me give you an example. When the sun is at its meridian, during your warden, and I'm talking blue because in order for you to understand purple, you have to understand red. In order for you to understand red, you have to understand blue. So the sun is at meridian in the south. It is at its height. It is in its heaven. It's the glory and the beauty of the day. Right? Now remember, the sun is the journey of the soul. So what happens is, is when the sun starts to decline, this is the descent of the soul. And when the sun sets, it's the descent of the soul into matter, into a human body. Right? So souls come and descend down into a human body, and then the human body, when the sun is moving underneath the earth and it's night and you can't see it, that's this world, the living, right? Souls are, are um, actually they descend, they die, and they're born into this world, and we are humans, and then when the sun starts to rise, that's when the soul is born but the human dies because now the human dies at sunrise and then the soul ascends back to the heavens. Okay, The journey of the soul is the path of the sun. So in all degrees, when we're doing our circumambulation, right, we're moving with the sun in the direction of the sun. We're doing that for a reason. Worshipful master, your duty, right? Sun rising in the east, set the craft at work, right? That's the beginning. Meridian, the heavens, sun setting, again, is the, the soul incarnating into matter. As a matter of fact, that's also why with the expression of left the west traveling east. Because that's what we do as humans. That sun that's going underneath at night, we're leaving the west and we're going east. Now, how does this relate to us as royal and select masters? Because as a royal and select masters, you acknowledge as such and you rock the regular hours. What are the regular hours? From 9 at night till 12, the time when prying eyes are closed in sleep. I would suggest to you that that is not a statement of, but it's what I've been talking about, is that from nine at night when it's dark is when we're doing our work in this realm. Because masonry is about building a spiritual temple, which is the daylight that we've been talking about. The sun rising, meridian, and then the sun setting. That's the spiritual realm that we're talking about. Down here, we're talking about the physical realm, Right? So we've got these nine degrees to take us from the inner apprentice when, it, when the sun sets all the way back to the sunrise, that ninth degree. Well, what happens? We've got the tenth degree, super excellent master. And what is the super excellent master degree talking about? The destruction of the temple. That's the degree that sets it off. That, the destruction of the temple is the degree that kills the body, allowing the soul to sunrise and start ascending back to heaven. I'm talking too much? Um, so, y'all y'all, y'all are tracking with me on that? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so, I lost where I was, but basically, that's what we're dealing with as super excellent masters. And, and as royal and select masters. And that's also why the, the super excellent master degree is weird and it sits the way that it does. It doesn't pertain to Hiram. It doesn't pertain to anything else. It's just kind of sitting there by itself. That is the 10th degree. Now let me bring it back home to you. The first, early, earlier I said that the Scottish Rite, you have the Kabbalah, you have the 10 Sephiroth, the 22 paths make up the 32 degrees of Freemasonry with the secret 33rd with the secret Sephiroth. And the York Rite, you've got the first nine, 
And then you got the ten, which is again ten sephirah, ten spears. Now, if you know anything about the Kabbalah and the tree of life, it's an upside down tree. Right? So you've got one down here and possibly ten up here. Or maybe even vice versa. Depending on whether you're ascending or whether you're descending, right? So if you're, de and, and this is called the greater mysteries or the lesser mysteries, right? And the ancients taught the greater mysteries and the lesser mysteries. One was the getting away from God. The other one was the returning to God. Same concept, <coughs> right? So the descent down is, uh, actually, let me start with the sunset. From the first degree all the way up, and if I, I, I don't have time, but if you look at the degrees and the order in which they're supposed to fall chronologically, mm -hmm. right, that gives you a really, really huge key, right? The degrees chronologically should be first degree, enter the apprentice, then the fellow crowd, then the mark master, <coughs> then the select master, then the first part of the royal master degree, then the master mason, then the second part of the royal master degree, then you have um, past master, super excellent, uh, destruction of the temple, the tenth degree, and then you have the royal arch. And when you look at those degrees and you understand the Sephiroth, they fit accordingly and they fit perfectly. <coughs> I could go into much more detail about it, 